Yo, what's going on guys? So today we're going to be showing off a really cool mod that me and Pyrex have been working on for a little bit. And this mod is a mini headhunter. It's like smaller than a headhunter basically. And it revolves around Borderlands 2 trivia, which might not be everybody's favorite thing, but uh, if you played any game for a long time, you want to know everything about it. So we just kind of transformed this into a mini headhunter that can kind of teach you things about the game, make you smarter. Anyways, if you do want to try the mod for yourself, it will be in the description for download. So let's go ahead and activate the mod. So we have the Borderlands trivia mod here, you can see. So you're a Borderlands fan, huh? Name every gun. Test your knowledge while helping Tiny Tina rescue Bud Stallion. Go to Digistruck Peak to start trivia. So we'll turn that on, and let's go ahead and jump right into the game. All right, so we're at Digipeak, and you can see on the left side, we have Borderlands trivia. Press F1 to play trivia. Uh, you can change the bind for, you know, activating the trivia, but here we're trying a new thing we haven't done before, which is loading in the custom map things uh, upon a hotkey. And then when you're done, it deloads it and doesn't take up any space in the game, doesn't slow down loading or anything like that. Uh, really cool and clever way to activate it. So we're going to press F1, and there is going to be a little bit of a lag spike because it is loading the custom map. And then, boom, we're here. So there is a mini story behind it to make it more interesting. Tiny Tina says, hey, Vaulty Vault. Butt Stallion is in a mood. I maybe tried to feed her chocolate chip cookies and forgot she only consumes precious gems. Can you find her for me? Please, 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 please. She ran off around these parts. The locals call this place the Murderous Mesa. It sounds lovely. Good luck, sucker. Uh, generic mini story, you know, it's something fun. I know it's a little bit cringe, but it's in the mind of Tina. Anyways, you can see here we have our difficulty, easy or hard. Uh, if you're, you know, still not very knowledgeable for Borderlands 2, I would go easy. If you know everything about this game, go hard mode, and, like, you will have a true test uh, of everything to be known within Borderlands 2. So, for the sake of the video, we're gonna go easy mode, so we're gonna click that. And now the easy generated trivia has been put into the game. So, you might notice this seems maybe a little bit familiar for some of you guys. And that is because we had a mini game in Roguelands that did a trivia thing too. Uh, I thought it was such a cool idea that uh, I would expand upon it and Pyrex and I kind of put our heads together and made this into a mini headhunter. Now I will say this is smaller than a headhunter, um, it's just a slow burn DLC uh, with trivia added to kind of slow you down and uh, enjoy the map. So yeah, this is the Murderous Mesa. I spent so much friggin' time placing rocks, as you can see. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot place custom terrain, so I had to use rocks for the ground too, but I did my best to make it look pretty. So when you spawn in, you're gonna be in the first area here. You see Diamond Shards, Bot Stallion nearby. We gotta find her, right? Uh, and then yeah, there's a gate we can't really get over. Don't grenade jump. Um, so yeah, if you step on the plate. Question, how many different playthrough modes are in BL2? Two, three, or four? Alright, so we have normal mode, TBHM, UBHM, so three. So what you're going to do is scroll down, click that, correct, and the gate's going to lower. That's right, we're doing um, actual like threads to lower gates and stuff to make it more animated. Oh, who's that? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is another really cool feature we did. Um, so there are a lot of cool people in the Borderlands community, and we decided to put them into the game. And what this is, is a message randomizer. So we're going to go ahead and walk up to this and read the echo. That shiny pony was relentless. Mask Villain Gaming The Gunner. So that is our randomized message. So yeah, now we need to proceed on, so we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of parkour here. You know, it's kind of ramping up in difficulty for doing things, so very easy parkour. So we'll step here. What is the drop chance of the Bada Boom from King Mong? So King Mong has two different drop sources. He could drop a skin or a Bada Boom. And normal legendary drop chances are 10%, but because he has two in his crowded loot pool, that cuts it down to a 5%, so we're going to select the 5. Boom. And the gate lowers. Okay, and now for fun, let's go ahead and fail a question to show that off. So we'll jump here, and then we'll jump over here. Oh, no, come back, Bot Stallion. Aw, oh, she's getting away. We got to go find her. All right, so let's uh, fail a question on purpose. Which one of these non-unique weapons are not manufactured by Vladoff? Muckamuck, Anarchist, or Droog? All right, so Anarchist and Droog, those are your Vladoffs, and Muckamuck would be the wrong, or sorry, the right answer, right? So let's do a uh, wrong answer here. We're going to click Droog. Boom. Gotcha. You die. So that's your way of like, you know, resetting. So basically, you got to get a bunch of questions right in a row. And if you fail one, you just get set back. All right, so let's go back. So we're going to load the map back in. So press F1. And all the stuff is going to re like generate again. The gates are back up. Uh, all the questions are re-randomized, everything like that. And there's 100 questions for easy and 100 questions for hard. So you have a lot of like randomization here. Okay. How many times does a larval barcode have to evolve to become vermivorous? All right, so larval goes to adult, which goes to um, bad, which goes to super, which goes to ultimate, which goes to vermisified. Cool. 
I have to really like think about that for a second. And we'll check this again. Let's see. 6.30 is the best time on the clock. Hands down. Vocal Assassin, the Witch Doctor. So yeah, it randomizes the name and the uh, the enemy type. Something funny. Something fun. All right, keep it going. Get back to where we left off. Break the Blank King. The Slab King. Yep. There we go. Jump the gates. And now I do want to mention there are going to be three... Bye. Uh, three super hidden, like, um, buttons in this map. And I'm not going to spoil that for this video, so if you want to look around and try to find them, uh, you will be, uh, teleported to secret areas. So, um, if you play the map for yourself, be sure to check that out. Okay, what grenade manufacturer doesn't make a Merv variant? Tidor, Bandit, or Torg? Tidor. Oh no, what happened, bro? Okay, another Echo, we'll trip that. I hate it here. Dr. Bones, the Rustler. Aw. Yeah, it's, uh, Murder Mesa. Another Echo? This place is driving me crazy. Test the gunner. Really cool. Uh, jump the thing. So there is a little bit of parkour, like I said. If you fall off, you die. Uh, we're still within Digipeak, so we'll trip that. Wildlife Blank Preserve. Um, exploration, Exploitation, Emulsification. Uh, exploitation. Yep. Okay, let's jump back. Ugh. Kind of a scary jump there. So yeah, this is the, uh, the beautiful map I made. I spent so long trying to get everything to look good. Uh, it's unfortunate, again, the rocks are all we can place for, for ground. We don't have, like, grass or anything like that. Uh, it's kind of surprising, dude. Digipeak is made up of literally, like, the same three rocks over and over. Just different sizes, stretched out, you know, pushed into small shapes and whatnot. Uh, pretty, pretty impressive. And, dude, I spent, like, an hour making this bridge. Isn't it cool? I used, uh, what was it, doors to make the, uh, the planks. But, yeah, we're gonna cross the bridge. Pretty, pretty. Oh, no, what happened, bro? That sucks. I'm seeing a lot of dead people here. This is concerning. Uh, Amarillo the fighter. The blank on Distruct Peak. Uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, Assault. No, Raid. Cool. There we go. Door opens. Proceed forward. This one's kind of like a small maze. A little waterfall back there. Pretty cool. So, we're going to shift our way through here, and... Oh, what's this? Another Echo. Uh, I'm out of my mind. I'll be back in five minutes. Ice stocking kit, the Rocketeer. Love it. Okay, so I didn't find the uh, thing there. Oh, there she is. Uh, hit the button. How many guns can Salvador equip? Two, three, or four? Uh, okay, so this is kind of a trick question. You think guns are in your head like right away. Salvador, two guns, and then people click two and then fail. Uh, dude, it's four. Every character can equip four weapons. So, kind of a tricky question. Oh, no. Oh, she got away. We'll find her, guys. Don't worry. We can't do, like, custom animations yet, but but we're trying. Okay, so another gate there, and then, um... I tried to make custom grass here, but eh, it's okay. Like, we don't have yellow paint in this game, so I figured I'd do that instead. Be a little bit clever. Why did I agree to help with this? Mopioid the riot here. I love it. Why did I say riot here? Rioter. I'm dumb. Uh, jump over here. Oh my goodness, is that another plate? A little bit hidden, right? Uh, how many bullet monk furs can... Wait, must be collected for the side mission Bad Hair Day. So, that's going to be a four. Now, remember, if you click the wrong answer, you're dead. And you got to go all the way back again. But yeah, here's this uh, area. Pretty cool. So, now we got to go down under the, the waterfall. So, whoop. And then behind the waterfall, you know, waterfall secret. I had to have this. Uh, is another plate. What is serious action skill called? Fade away, deception, into the shadows. Deception. Cool. Now we parkour out. We're doing it. We're doing it. Up and over, and we are free. All right, into the mine. So you can see blood splat, kind of a visible trail of Bud Stallion. She's been here, right? Uh, so here we are. Things are happening. Dynamite and stuff. Uh, my siren's name is Blank, and she is the prettiest. Hmm. Brick. Okay, so this is going to be the final area. There's 10 questions in total in a row. And you can see we have a, like thing here. Uh, you'll see what that is in a second. Uh, what happened to you, bro? I think I saw something on the cliff sides looking at me. Mystique Siren the Pirate. Love it. Alright, jump on a plate. Who has the Mongol as a dedicated drop? Dukino's Mom, Black Queen, or King Mong? So, Dukino's Mom here. And check this out. Watch the uh, area over here. Ta-da! So, because we did easy mode, we got three purples. If you do hard mode and complete it, you get three legendaries. So, really, really cool. There she is. Yeah, so I made Butt Sign, you know, blinged out a little bit. Looks pretty cool. 
So, uh, we found her. Let's go ahead and talk to her. You found Batshayan. She rushes at you in a full force rage. How do you choose to dodge? We can either straight to the left, do a sick backflip, or shield yourself for impact. So, I think we're gonna go a sick backflip. Ah, oh, she killed us. Whatever, it's fine. So, yeah, that's the end of the DLC. Very, very short, very, very fun. Uh, something fun to do if you want to brush up your knowledge for Borderlands 2. And yeah, I think that's going to be it. So hope you guys enjoy this little custom headhunter. Um, again, try to find the three secret buttons if you can. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy this video too. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.